So you want to create a drop-down list in your Microsoft Word document. I need a drop-down list of payment methods within this form. So your first step is to show the Developer tab on your ribbon. It probably won't show by default. So if you can't see it, right-click on one of the other tabs and choose Customize the ribbon. And then on the right-hand side, down at the bottom here, tick this Developer option and click on OK. You should then see the Developer tab on your ribbon. So your next step is to click where you want the drop-down list to appear. So I'm going to click in this cell here. Then I go to the Developer tab on the ribbon. And in the Controls group, there's a button called Drop-down list content control. So you click on that. And then you click on this Properties button. So in the title box, you type in a title for your drop-down. So I'd say something like, please select a payment method. So down here in the drop-down list properties, you need to list all of the items that you want to appear in your drop-down. We already have one item, which is labeled as choose an item. So we select it, click on modify, and type in our first value. And we say that's cash, click on OK. Then we click on add, and we add our second value. I'll say that's card. And then you can keep adding as many values as you like. So once you're finished, click on OK, and now you'll have your drop-down list. You can just select any of the values in the list. Now, one thing you might want to do is prevent the drop-down list from being deleted. Now, to do that, you need to make sure the drop-down list is selected, and then you go back up to your Properties button, and there's an option here under Locking, Content Control Cannot Be Deleted. So if you tick that option, click on OK, the end user will now not be able to delete your drop-down list. That is, unless they go back to Properties and untick this option. Now, if you want to prevent that from happening, you need to restrict editing. So you click on this Restrict Editing button, and then down the side here in the Restrict Editing task pane, you need to tick this tick box under Editing Restrictions, and then change this drop-down to Filling in Forms. You then need to apply the restrictions by clicking on Yes, Start Enforcing Protection. You can put in an optional password and click on OK. And then you see it grays out the Properties button on your ribbon. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.